past few years since I've been doing more art, I've realized that there's a palette of colors that I prefer using over others. I feel like it's a good time to refresh my stash of acrylic paint with the palette of colors that I consistently keep using. And they're more like earthy tones and jewel tones and some pastels. I know I could mix them with the remaining colors I have, but I think it would be just easier to have them on hand, ready in a bottle. And now that I'm getting into more collage art, I want to use more of these colors and incorporate more of the, more of the colors that uh, spark joy for me. I made this sketch in Procreate last year. I was inspired by this cactus. I think it's called the uh, so black spine cat, black spine, black spine prickly pear, I think. Anyways, I really liked the colors. And so I sketched this out, but I wasn't really liking it. And I thought maybe I can like turn this into a pattern or something. But now that I'm getting into collage art, maybe I can try translating into that and see what it looks like in cut paper form. This is like the one art form where I actually prefer using the cheaper paint and not that something like apple barrel is cheap it's just less expensive compared to the other acrylic paints i think it's decent quality but it is on the like thinner side if you compare it to the other paints but i actually prefer that i like that it's thin enough to show the paper underneath because i want that streaky texture it's also fun to like play with different textures like household items you can even use paper to brush on the paint onto other paper though i do prefer using like a slightly nicer brush to spread the paint because it holds more paint versus like a cheaper brush keeps running out of paint, though it does give some nice texture. My final art is most likely going to be scanned and turned into prints, so if there are any inconsistencies, I can correct them later digitally. I also use less glue than I expected, so I think it is okay to have a less expensive glue stick or even school glue. I did run out of my like sketch paper that I was painting on, so I moved on to just regular inkjet uh, cheap printer paper, and I think that works just as well too. It is on the thin side, so it can warp a little, but the acrylic paint dries really fast, and I like that it's on the thin side if I end up layering more paper on my artwork, my composition, it's not going to like bulk up really quick. And I know the last video I did say I liked that I was using these scissors and they are comfortable, but I feel like I have less control over the shapes that I'm cutting with this. And I keep going back to the cheaper scissors, though they're not as comfortable. If there are any uh, scissor aficionados out there, if you want to comment, what are the, like the best scissors for, I think they call it like fussy work or like little, little bitty things that are hard to cut, but you want control over. My goal isn't to cut exact precise shapes. I like wonkiness and imperfections but I do want to feel like I have more control over the tiny bits of paper that I'm working with. 
I'm sharing all these like new art forms I'm exploring with you guys and I learned so much from you in the comments. So thank you and I really appreciate that I can like share and discuss this stuff with you. And speaking of, a lot of you suggested to look at uh, Clover Robin and you suggested this book, so I got it. And it's really simple like for beginners, which is what I like. I really do gravitate more toward this style of collage work. And so thank you for the recommendation for this book. And I keep referencing it just to spark ideas of cutting shapes and playing with textures. I've also stumbled upon a bunch of other artists that do this style. And if you are interested as well, I'll link them down below. I noticed a lot of the collage in this style is nature-based. And there's a lot of like cottages and landscapes, which are beautiful, but something I did realizes there's not a lot of like desert landscape and so I figured maybe I should try this cactus or try some other landscapes that I don't see a lot of because I'm in the desert. In this book it talks about uh, using tissue paper and that's something I never even considered using. I didn't even know you could really paint on tissue paper but when I ended up trying to use it in this cactus I just felt like it was so delicate and it wasn't as fun to work with because of that. I tried to make a flower from it, but it was like two, three dimensional. Maybe if I used larger sheets of it, I would have more fun with it. In the process, I realized I had a nice yellow paper from this Strathmore cover. I really had fun with just saying, oh yeah, I can grab that and put this in here. And it's like improvising, recycling the materials that I have. 